Hello Capricorn, this is Steph at Finding You Tarot and this is your weekly reading for the 16th to the 22nd of October 2023. These are general readings, so uh, only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. I write, read for um, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, uh, so do check out your other placements if you want a fuller picture of the energies for the week. And if you would like a personal reading with me, all the details are in the description box below. So if you do like this video, uh, please uh, do um, hit the like button. It will really help with the growth of the channel. So let's have a look at Capricorn's energy. We've had a real sense of moving on, a letting go of emotional patterns that no longer serve with all of the readings. You're the last one I'm doing for this week. And this is probably all tied in with the new, new moon eclipse in Libra that took place uh, yesterday evening in the UK. I'm recording on the 15th. So uh, your current situation, um, you're sort of, you're, you're kind of trapped in something. You can't see a way out of it, Capricorn. Um, but I think there might be an element of sort of self self-sabotage and, and in the pursuit of protection you're trying to protect yourself here okay let's 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 get the other cards on the table um don't want to speak on this too soon let's see What's the situation yeah that I think you've gone a little, maybe a little bit too far with the boundaries. <laughs> um, seven of Wands. Although swords are cards of the mind, I'm being drawn to the water, um, the puddles at her feet. That there's some sort of, you know, emotional stuff that's keeping you stuck here Capricorn okay. and what don't you see mm, the fool yeah okay I think you're sort of trapped you're, you're well you yeah it look you you look trapped but you, we have Aquarius energy here with the fool and you really 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 want to move on but I think there's something emotionally that is stopping you from being able to to do that um and and it feels like it's all around self-protection capricorn um this this need to you know i keep i keep hearing and i think taurus had this as well you know it's about you know boundaries are fine but back but you know putting up walls are is 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 not healthy um and i feel like you've got walls up here so what are you going out of? What's Capricorn going out of? Knight of Wands. Okay. What are you going into? I'm I'm not going to speak on that Knight of Wands until I'm just going to take um, an Oracle card. When I've got all, everything else on the table. Ah, the world. Okay, great, beautiful. Okay, so you're going into, I think, a phase where um, a, an end of a cycle, which, you know, it, it could have been, and again, I think it was, was it Taurus? I was being asked to look back 18 years, which was the last time there was a, you know, solar eclipse in Libra or something. Um, to where you were 18 years ago. Um, but it feels like this is the completion of a cycle. I mean, very drawn to the fixed signs here of um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Um, it, it, it feels like something is, is done. But it does require a leap of faith. And Spirit's advice is, is actually to um reach out you know the eight the the eight of the eight of swords is a very solitary card as is the seven of 
wands. So I feel like you may be a bit isolated here, Capricorn. Let's just have a look at the what the oracle, the wisdom of the oracle has to say. Just one card for Capricorn. Poised. I think you've lost your confidence, Capricorn. You know, she's this is this this character here is very confident, but I think you've lost your confidence. And I think you've lost your confidence because, you know, whatever you've tried hasn't worked. I think I think you're you're isolated though. Um it it feels like you know, with this, these two cards, you're isolating yourself to protect yourself from more disappointment and you're unwilling to take a risk because you don't want to be disappointed again. Um, but, you know, I feel as though this is this phase is actually coming to an end. I think there's a bit of a sort of to hell with it energy about this. Um, I feel... I almost, I, I almost feel as though there's a sort of, um, you know, you've tried to pursue avenues that were passions for you, but actually you're, they've come up barren, they've not worked out, um, you know, because the night, this night of wands here, he, he's a he's a kind of very passionate energy but it's kind of poof and it's gone but also you know you've got the sand dunes here and everything there's nothing growing there's no growth in this card there's just some pyramids and and sand um and sand dunes it's you know and sand dunes are kind of they they don't last you know they'll eventually the sand just sort of drifts flat again so it feels very much here as though as though you've been through a period of, of of kind of disappointment your reaction to that has been to close yourself off to self you know to kind of keep yourself stuck focusing on the heartbreak of of the disappointments that you felt um to you know sort of maybe tell yourself some stories about that are perhaps historic patterns of how you think about yourself that nothing ever works out but it feels like very self sabotage stuff here um and then you go and 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 your reaction to it has been to put up barriers um and you know as i say there's nothing wrong with with boundaries if they're healthy but you know when you isolate yourself in this way in order to protect yourself. This is really unhealthy stuff, Capricorn. This feels very unhealthy. Um, and, you know, and and yet there is this kind of seed of hope here for you that is, is kind of, I really want to move on. I really, really want to move on. You know, I want to feel the sun on my back again. I don't want to linger in this per this perpetual state of disappointment. And, you know, and and the kind of feeling of to hell with it. it. But it feels as though, you know, Capricorn, you're the spirit's advice is is to find your tribe, to find those people you can connect with, but not to. I, I sometimes with this figure here, she looks a little bit sly and she's holding something back. She's holding a bunch of grapes back from the people that she says are her friends. And so sometimes I read this as a kind of deceit, perhaps a deceitful energy around, around the person I'm reading for. But I feel like here it's almost as though, you know, you going into reaching out, finding those like minded souls who are going to be the, the the people that are able to get you out of this this these these feelings of lack and isolation and um heartbreak and you know but don't hold back from them you know be your authentic self don't try to 
be that person that you think they want you to be but you know go in with an open heart it feels like there's something here about you opening your heart and 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 actually showing the world what you can do you know because I feel like you're maybe you know the 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 difference here in the in in the um the two figures you know one of them is is happily within herself you know she's she's there on the plinth she's saying look at me it's fine I am who I am and I'm very very proud of it and here we have this person in a sort of tattered rags you know with with uh, you know kind of bound and blindfolded and afraid and you know just desperately wanting to poke a toe out and get out of their situation but unable to do it there's something here about how you're presenting yourself to the world um and you know and and that is going to improve your situation it's going to move you forward um, in a much more um, positive and abundant way because I'm being really drawn to the fruit in this three of um, this this three of cups card but this is about other people you know um, and but showing up authentically for it with other people and and that is how you're going to find your tribe not by holding yourself back not by feeling um not by telling yourself that you're not good enough not by telling yourself that you're you're you know that 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 this is all there is for you she can slip these bindings and cards are swords of the mind you know so in a sense the swords are are somewhat illusionary in that you know we have control over how we think and sometimes we get ourselves into these thinking patterns because circumstances in life kind of throws stuff at us that makes us feel that we're not enough or that nobody cares or whatever but it but actually you know the the good news here is that you you have control over this and you can change those thinking patterns as well you know it and and it feels as though there is there is um if if you can get through that and break these um, these bindings and knock down this wall that you've constructed to prevent other people coming close there is an option here there is an opportunity here for some really interesting connections which I think are going to be an, a new phase in your life a completely new phase in your life where you actually get to show up as you unashamedly as you so Capricorn, um, that was quite heavy. Um, I hope that helps. Um, as I say, if you did enjoy this reading, please do like, share and subscribe. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely week and um, uh, or at least a transformational week. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.